Amy. Welcome back to Too Blessed. Today I want to share a little something different with you. I'm in a different area of my house that you have probably not seen before. This is actually the room that we are using for our home dialysis. So right now I'm sitting in a recliner. This is where I sit when we're doing the dialysis. My dialysis machine is right here and this room is filled right now with boxes and piles of all kinds of medical equipment, all the things that we use for doing dialysis, and it's a huge mess. And so today what I'm gonna be doing is getting this organized and trying to get it set up to where it's gonna work a little better for us, that we don't have to search around for all the things that we need um, to just try to make things go a little more smoothly. So first I was gonna show you just really quick a few items I got from Dollar Tree that I'm gonna be using to organize and then um, I'm gonna show you the room and then I don't think I'm gonna record while I'm working but I'll show you as I get different things done I'll show you what it looks like and then at the end I'll show you how the room looks different because hopefully it will look very different when I get done <laughs> so first of all um, I went to Dollar Tree of course um, because we've got a lot of things that we need to separate um, like we've got the needles that we use to put in my arm it's kind of kind of similar to when you get an IV except there's two needles at a time one needle takes the blood out puts it through the machine cleans it and then it comes back into my arm through another needle so I've got two needles in my arm at a time there are different kinds of needles different sizes of needles and so we need to be able to kind of separate those out so that we can like I said quickly access them so the first thing I got are these kind of big baskets um, I don't really need them this big, but it was, it seemed to be the best size because I needed them to be pretty long. So I got three of these and I'm hoping it's going to be enough to separate out all the different kinds of needles that we have. So that's the first thing. Oops. I decided to go with this blue color. It doesn't really go necessarily with the room or anything like that, but when I was looking at the different items I wanted, it was the one color that they had all of those items. So that's why I picked blue. Plus it seems like kind of a calming color. It's really pretty. So then I got, this actually came in a pack of four and I've already used one. So I've got three left here. Um, these little like oval kind of tubs. And I'm using the, right now I'm using one for some of my medication that we use. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use the other ones for yet. That will kind of be determined as we go along. Um, then I got, well, I got these hooks. Um, they're like over the door hooks and they came in a pack of two because when my husband is helping me get ready for dialysis and then when we get done and he's helping me disconnect and things like that, um, he has to wear like a gown over his clothes just because there is a chance that he could get blood or something like that. Um, and he wears like a face mask that protects his face just in case, again, just in case some blood we haven't had it happen, but it's just a precaution. And those items um, you can hang on a hook, and I didn't really have a good hook to use, so I found these, got those for his his equipment. <laughs> and then I got two more baskets that come in a pack of two like this, um, smaller than those really big ones. And again, I'm not 100% sure what they're gonna be used for, but I just bought a couple of different sizes and shapes to hopefully work for all of the things. And then this last item that I got, I was most excited about. It's one of these, like a shower caddy. But as soon as I saw it, I knew it was gonna be perfect. I've already got it filled up. So what we have here is in this side, we have squares of gauze. And then it's got two sections here. This section I have put the tape, you know, that you, when we get done and we remove the needles, you tape gauze over that to you know hold the blood <laughs> keep your blood from coming out and then this little larger section here is the perfect size for we have alcohol swabs and we have see if i can remember the name beta betadine it's like iodine kind of so when we're getting ready to put the needles in we clean it with alcohol and then we put that betadine on there to you know just kind of help a little bit with uh, protecting it um, so I thought this was perfect because now when we get ready to start we just grab this it's got all of the things we need 
all together. When we get done and we're removing the needles, it's kind of the same process in reverse, and then we, we need the gauze and the tape and all, all those things. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be really awesome to have all of that in this handy little basket. So, um, I think, yes, I think that's everything. I also have a little shelving unit that we just bought. I just got finished putting it together. I'm going to be bringing that in um, to arrange things. So I'm going to grab the camera, turn it around and show you what we're working with. Prepare yourself. It's bad. Okay. So here's our dialysis room and I was not kidding. There is stuff everywhere. Boxes and just stuff piled. And there's all my containers on the floor I just showed you. Then it goes over here, more boxes, more stuff, all, all up there. So I'm hoping to get this organized and get this looking a little better. So I will be back and check in with you in just a little bit. So here is a chair that we just keep in here for my husband to sit on. Um, I think we're going to be switching this out with a nicer chair, a more comfortable one that he likes a little bit better, but we just kind of put this one here for now. And then up on the closet door, I put a hook and when there, during certain parts of the dialysis, like when he is um, helping me put in the needles and when we're taking the needles out, he has to wear protective equipment because there is a chance that he could get blood on himself. So that's where I decided to put a hook for us to keep his equipment so he can just grab it quickly when he needs it. So then coming around to this side of the room, like I said there's just a bunch of random things here, but I was able to get it cleaned up at least a little bit more and look a little nicer. <laughs> so those things are all still kind of piled over there. We are, we're working on trying to get some of these things out so that we could eventually take the treadmill and bring that back out so that I could actually use the treadmill. So that's what we're hoping to do. So there's a couple other little random boxes there. And then this side over here is the supplies and equipment that we use on a daily or like a weekly basis. So the boxes there are the equipment, the, sorry, the supplies that we use for each treatment. So we take one piece from the bigger boxes, one piece from the smaller boxes. That's how we run the machine. Um, the little drawers there contain a bunch of different supplies and then I even have supplies for my insulin pump in there. So just other random things that, like I said, that we don't use on a daily basis necessarily, but we want them to be close so that we can get them if we need them. And then this is the part that I really wanted to work on. This is the area that actually does contain the equipment and the supplies that we need to use every single treatment that we do. So I'm just going to go through really quick and I'll show you what we've got here. The baskets up here actually contain the needles that we use for dialysis. There's what the needles look like. And so there's two different kinds that we use at different kind times. So I just separated those into the two baskets. They're quick and easy to grab. Um, this little shelving unit, by the way, I I got at Walmart. I bought it online and then it was such a nice small size, it fit right on top of this table that I already had here. So I thought that worked really well. So then in each of the little cubbies, I've got something different. I showed you this earlier which is my little basket where we have all of the supplies for doing the sticking and removing the needles. Then this basket here contains syringes. We've got regular syringes that have needles and then we've actually got syringes that do not have needles because sometimes we just need to maybe draw up fluid or something like that and we don't necessarily need a needle. So we've got two different kinds. Um, this basket here, try not to cast too many shadows, <laughs> um, contains these blue pads and this is what, if you've ever been in a doctor's office or something, you've probably seen these. They're just absorbent pads and they'll usually lay it down if they're going to be trying to draw blood or something like that. So we use those to protect the area when we're doing needles and blood draws and things like that. 
And then right here in the back, I've actually got an empty basket. I'm not sure what's going to go there yet. And then this basket has some of the medicine. Um, when you're doing dialysis, they have to, before you start dialysis, you have to inject a medication that helps keep your blood from clotting too much. And so that's what that is. Um, and then this little bucket here just has a couple of random little things in that didn't really fit anywhere else. <laughs> then down on the bottom here, there are some um, various other supplies, those white cloths we, we use after treatment. We have to wipe all the equipment down with a bleach solution and we use those cloths. There's some testing kits that we use to test the water. And then this little cubby here is closest to the chair where I sit. So I kind of put in here different things that I might need. Um, I definitely need the blood pressure machine because during dialysis we have to monitor blood pressure every 30 minutes. Um, then I've got some face masks here. You know, the little disposable masks you put on. Um, I have to wear those when we are doing the needles, when we're sticking, and then when we're removing, just because you don't want to accidentally breed bacteria um, into that area. And then this little bucket just has some random things too. I keep some medications that I might need, just like some over-the-counter things. A thermometer because we check my temperature before and after treatment. Um, I've got an ink pen in here in case I would need one. Just some little random things. And then I keep a glove because when you're on dialysis and they start removing some of the blood, and by the way, there is only a pint of blood that is outside of your body at one time. So they're, they're constantly removing some blood and putting some blood back. And as that's happening, sometimes your hand can actually get really, really cold. So I've been keeping a glove there for the times that that happens and I might need it. So then in the front here, we've just got our gloves, we've got hand sanitizer, and then we've got this iPad, which actually came with our system. And it's really neat. I might make a video at some point kind of showing how it works a little bit, but um, basically I can sit with this iPad and it shows me all the information from my treatment session. It shows me any current information that I need to see. Sometimes there are alarms that go off on the machine to maybe, you know, alert us that something might be wrong. And I can see that on the iPad. I can read about what we need to do to correct it. And so it's just that I think that's a really, really neat system that they have that. And that's been working really well for us. So let me go back here a little bit and just show you. Then we've got this lamp that I found, which has been extremely helpful because this room is dark, dark, dark. And so you can turn this on. You can turn it on to have just like two of them. You can have all five of them. And then of course you can move them around and direct it wherever you need it. So especially when I'm sitting in this chair and maybe my husband is trying to do my access with one of the needles, we can direct a light right on the spot so he can see what he is trying to do. <laughs> And then back over here again is our dialysis machine. And I was just working on this too, which I thought was kind of interesting. They gave us this like book that's a flip chart. And you can see this first page, it says setting up your next stage cycler. And basically when you're ready to set it up, you just flip through this and it tells you literally step by step what to do, even including at this point, you need to wash your hands. And, you know, then it tells you to turn on the machine. And it goes through step by step by step, just literally telling you what to do to get everything set up. And so that's been really helpful for us as well, as we're still trying to learn this whole process. So this is our little setup for now. Um, we did find out that there is going to be a chair sent to us. I may have mentioned that before. Um, and they are actually custom making that chair right now. So it's going to take about another three to four weeks. It'll be a, a smaller chair than this, but it will still be a recliner. And then it will have built-in little tables on each side that are very helpful for 
you know, when you're working with the needles and things like that, you need a surface to lay all your items on. So right now we're just using this little portable table, which doesn't work that great, but we're making do until we get all of the proper equipment. So that's my dialysis room, guys. Like I said, I may at some point in the future possibly show you a little bit more without without giving away personal medical information, but I may be able to show you a little bit of how it works and things like that at some point. Um, but today I just wanted to show you the organization and just kind of let you know a little bit about what we're doing. So um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. I will hopefully be getting into some more DIY videos coming up pretty soon. Um, now that things have kind of calmed down a little bit, I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to do that. And there, you know, there will be more videos talking about my health and talking about dialysis and, um, probably even getting into the process of getting a transplant, which is what we are striving for now. So, um, I just, I appreciate everyone who has made such kind comments and said that they were praying for me. It really, really means a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm trying not to get emotional right now, but it really does mean a lot because especially the, maybe this last month or so has just been really difficult and, and I need it. I need your support and your prayers and I really do appreciate it. So thanks for watching this video guys and I will see you in the next one.